All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode, Fishing Grubs. Uh, a little bit different today. We are doing what we did a couple days ago when we did the auger review, and we're going out without any tip-ups. We literally only have about an hour and a half uh, to even like get there and get in and find a hole that's deep enough for us to use the flasher to flash. Kind of need this thing. Woo. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now on the right track, but we have less time now to do what we came to do. We just probably lost about 10 minutes. We got the show down. All right, we got the tickle stick, and we're going to an, a different pond, a pond that we've only ice fished once. It was on the uh, introduction episode to fishing grubs. It's also where I've caught two six pound bass. It's a very small pond in Nashua. I do not know if I'm going to, with the time that I have allotted myself, be able to find, <coughs> be able to find a deep enough spot to use uh, the fish finder. So that's basically the goal today. It's a recon mission. We, not, we might not catch a gosh darn thing. Uh, so that's the kind of a challenge uh, in and of itself. But we're gonna get out here and we're gonna see if we can get on some fish and find them before we gotta go to work. All right, let's get out there. just jumped holes again we're in 11 foot now now if we could just find out where fish are located we haven't marked a single fish if we can find where the heck they're staying at might be able to actually get a couple we don't have a ton of time left though Let's see what we can do Well, strategy, uh, not marking anything yet. We found the deep, still not marking anything. Who knows, I mean, they, they might pee up in the five, six foot. But a lot of those areas here are so weedy that we're never gonna be able to jig. So what we've done here is we've drilled, going back the way that the sun is going, hoping that maybe they're gravitating in that area stacked up. I have a feeling when we find them, we're gonna find a lot of them. Yes! Wasn't recording. It's a freaking gorgeous kill, folks. Awesome. Moved around a ton, made the right moves. I think we got a pack of them down there. Oh, this is awesome. It looks like there's a bunch of them suspended. All right, let's get this dude back in there. Yeah. We know there's big bass in here, so we thought there was something that those big bass were snacking on. And that was definitely a big size snack for a bass. We are pumped. We need another fish, because that one doesn't count, because we missed the hook set. Freaking camera wasn't on, so I'm a doofus. What an idiot. I hope we found a little honey hole right here. Got something. Big mark too. Got it. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. That's a good fish, folks. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Never give up! <laughs> oh my god! Woo! Yeah! Yes! Yeah! Yes, folks! Oh my god, I'm so pumped right now! It's not even epic! 
Golly! Oh my god, that's so good. Little chunker, little fatty. Oh man. Who was barely hooked? <laughs> oh my god, yes! Oh my god! That was such a fat mark, too. I did it! I did it! Josh, you proud of me, bro? I did it, man. My first freaking bass jigged up that isn't a dink. Yeah! Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, our first ever decent bass on the pickle stick. That is freaking amazing, folks. We came out here with no time at all. We only had about an hour to fish. We freaking jigged a bunch of holes. We didn't mark crap. We came in here, we caught that big bluegill, and I was just saying there's gotta be some bass in the area that are feeding on these big healthy bluegill. I'm gonna dunk them. I'm ecstatic over a freaking pound and a half bass. But he's a little chunker. I mean, this could be a little, almost two. I don't know. I'm pumped. This is awesome. What a beautiful fish. God damn it, I love fishing. And this is the reason why, is moments like this. I knew that was a big fish. Like finding on this ultralight rod with ultralight line, a tiny, 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 tiny little jig head, guys. This thing is so little. Big bass, they hit it. Let's get them in the hole. We already got pictures. We are pumped for this fish. Well, thanks for coming up, little homie. You rock. Yeah! Yep, got him. Decent fight. Nice skill. That's three, baby. Oh, what a day, folks. Beautiful fish. Nice, three fish on the day. Another beautiful gill. Oh, man. Yep, we got another fish down there on us already. He just chased us down. Now he's coming up. Now he's got us. And there's more down there. Fish for great fight. Man, these fish are putting up a fight. Awesome. Pack of gills down there. Dude, nice. This is freaking epic. Did I not say it earlier? I don't know if I got it on film, but I said if I find them in here, uh, we're going to be on them. Awesome, folks. Another one. Realistic. You'd be proud of me today, bro. I wonder if it's still 11 feet over in that last hole. We just got two bluegill here. Oh. Should we go back down? Is that a fish? Yes, it is. It's on me. Yeah, it's got him. It's big. Woo! Yes! Yes! <laughs> this is the freaking first. This one might be bigger than the last one. Hooked him a lot better though. There it is, folks. The PB again. All right, awesome. That's so far. Peace. We only have 20 more minutes. So 
we're gonna jig this hole that we just got that bass in. It was funny because like they all cleared out and we thought, hey, like maybe all the fish are gone. Then all of a sudden a huge blip showed up and there she was. My biggest bass of the day, biggest bass in the jig rub. We've caught two of my biggest fish ever, one day. This is amazing, absolutely incredible. Trip that I didn't even have planned. Isn't that when the best things happen though? When you just like on a whim go out and do what you absolutely love to do. Man, what a day. We gotta go to work soon and we're gonna be jacked up at work. Everybody's gonna be like, why is this kid so pumped up? He's making freaking cocktails. It's crazy that those big bass will freaking hit something this small. Just amazing to think about. I love throwing big ass swim baits, but this is like the exact opposite and it's so much fun. It's almost just as fun. The thing about a big swim bait is, is when you catch one, you know it's gonna be big, a lot bigger than the one and a half, two pounders that uh, we got today. All right. I'm about to move holes here. Thought I felt something fishy around, but. Oh, oh my God, did I call it? Here it comes, it's big too. Come on, bud. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Talking. Oh my god. Oh my god, folks. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh man. Holy shnikes. Holy shnikes, folks. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a giant. Ah! Oh my God. Oh my God, they were fighting over it down there. Oh man, I hate having a broken scale. This is easily, that's a five pound bass, folks. If I've ever seen a five pound bass. I can't believe this freaking just happened. I'm out here at this tiny little pond where I've caught a couple really big fish and I just caught a really big fish on my tickle stick. Team 13. Huge shout out to my buddy Josh from Pig Patrol because uh, dude watching your videos and you jigging 
I mean, I wanted to get into it beforehand, but watching your videos lately has been a huge inspiration and one of the reasons why uh, I've been trying to jig so much. And then this happens without a scale. Freaking behemoth, at least a five pound bass. Team 13 fishing, unbelievable bass. Absolute giant, can't freaking believe it, folks. I'm gonna get her some air, take a couple pictures with her and get her back in the water and get to work. I did a challenge today, folks. Today was a can you catch some fish in this little pond uh, on the jig stick. I did not bring any tip ups. Giant, four and a half, five pound bass, easy. Unbelievable, folks. Personal best on the ice, probably bigger than my 4.7 pounder. Um, God, I wish I had a scale. But look at this. Look at this gosh darn fish. All right, folks, we're gonna let this beast go. I can't even believe this is real life. Yeah! Unreal. Absolutely unbelievable. Well, folks, there you have it. One of the best days of ice fishing I've ever had. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna mark today as uh, possibly the best because we had such a short day. It was such a short notice. We had no idea we were even coming out here today. We only used the freaking jig rod. We caught two decent bass and we kind of figured out how they were reacting. And once the bluegill hit a couple times, that's when the bass rolled in. And it happened again. Not only did it happen again, we got our freaking personal best bass through the ice ever, I'm sure. I mean, you guys let me know. My scale's all messed up, it's all effed. That fish was definitely over four pounds. My personal best on the ice is uh, 4.7 pounds. That is definitely the biggest bass I've caught this year. I'm floored, I'm blown away. I, again, I know I said it before, but I have to shout out to, to Josh from Pig Patrol. Dude, if it wasn't for you and your stupid short stick videos, I wouldn't be out here trying so freaking hard with the gosh darn thing. It's just, I, I'm like seeing how much fun you're having and how much success. I'm like, God damn it, uh, I guess I should start doing that too. It looks like a blast and uh, everybody seems to enjoy it. And then I'm out here and I get one of the biggest bass I've ever caught. Anyways, we are going to pack up our gear and we're gonna get the heck out of here. Urban fishing at its freaking finest folks oh man if you enjoyed yourself do me a huge favor hit the subscribe button i would really appreciate it hit the bell as well like i said a million times over we are not done ice fishing we're going to continue with the chase after some big fish through the ice the goal for the winter has been complete folks we did it i am so stoked right now I can't even begin to describe. Let me know the biggest fish you guys have ever caught through the ice. Uh, or if you don't have any ice fishing, comment down below your biggest fish ever. I really do, I, I don't know if you guys know this, but I, I really, really appreciate every single solitary comment you guys leave down there. I try to reply to all of them and I freaking love you all. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Fish and Grubs. Fish out! <laughs>
beautiful freaking bluegill just almost lost my freaking 13 fishing rod just got my pb peace bud yes dude today's the best best day ever